Okay, it's time for Eric Blake's question. Now, you know what? I'm just going to skip that one. I think I don't really want to. Okay, Eric Blake uh, says, okay, I need a drink, so here's an RK question. You often use the analogy of R types being rabbits and the K types being wolves. Here's the thing, wolves eat rabbits. So, uh, Vectron Whittle, from one K wolf to another, how do you like your <laughs> R rabbit? Roasted, rotisseried, stewed, broiled, deep fried, raw and crunchable as Gollum recommends. You know, it's an interesting point, uh, Eric. Um, Accidentally, of, uh, I have no doubt. Uh, but it's an interesting point that that um, that I think those are good analogies. I think that I think that the that rabbits are a good example of um, of R type behavior, and wolves are a good example of K type behavior. And while it is true that wolves will eat rabbits, the thing I find interesting is that that aspect of R and K does not translate into humans. I mean, it kind of comes down to the sheepdog thing too, you know, but I mean, if you really think about it, if we're the ones who are um, individually based, heavily armed, trained, uh, mentally tough, mentally prepared for things, we could very easily just simply eliminate the, 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 the R types. But when you get down to actually asking the questions, what you find is that when it comes to humans, the wolves pretty much just want to be left alone, but the rabbits want to kill all the wolves. And um, I find that um, interesting. Um, you know, but since you asked, I imagine, uh, I imagine Bernie Sanders would be rather stringy and dry you know, you'd, you'd probably have to have a some kind of a gravy or, at the very least, a big bottle of ketchup, uh, you know, for Bernie. Um, uh, I think if you if you just kind of forced to eat Elizabeth Warren, you'd be expecting it to be kind of gamey, but in the end it would just be virtually tasteless, almost like mayonnaise, you know. Um, uh, Nancy Pelosi, I think, um, I just get the feeling that um, that if you if you were forced to eat Nancy Pelosi, that you would get mercury poisoning on a very very high level. I just get the sense that that, that she's just, you know, kind of top of the food chain there and just taking up all the mercury from all the people she's kind of preyed on down below her. Um, let me think here. Uh, Barack Obama would taste exactly the way you wanted it to. Um, Who am I missing? Um, Michael Moore would, needless to say, be exceedingly fatty and 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 just just produce a lot of grease. Um, I think, as a general rule, um, if I had to eat people, I'd rather eat conservatives. I think they'd be much better for you. I think they'd be just. I think the body mass ratio and muscle to weight ratio and all the rest of it be be just far more tasty. Uh, but that's just me, and 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 taste is uh, Hillary. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a challenge. Hil Hillary, um, my I'll give you my first instinct, uh, Eric. Hillary, uh, I, I wouldn't touch Hillary because I think I think I think the only people that would eat Hillary, the only creatures that would eat Hillary are scavengers. You know, I don't think anybody wants to meet eat stuff that's been dead for a long time. I'm not interested in it. I, just just fry me up a southern. Um, no, there used to be a Southern Democratic senator. There aren't many of those. Just fry me up a, uh, you know, a wine-sodded, um, chubby, plump, juicy Berkeley professor, and um, and season to taste. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, and that was a question that I don't believe I'll soon forget, Eric. Uh, so, um, so uh, points for you there. Uh, 